is using you in ways you have very little actually to do how you feel. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. That's actually good news. <laughs> Is that right? That's you know, so, nothing to do, have very little to do with what you go through your mind, your emotion. Because of the culture. Right? Thank you, Lord. I hope you understand what I'm saying to you. You know, so, yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And we have so many things taught and oriented as Christians are wrong. Because it's all individualistic. Mm -hmm. You never thought about what it means to be part of a culture, build a new culture, build God's culture out there in our mm -hmm. lives. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. But you have been fighting the land fight, if you that there's a there's a word called a fight. Or contending for something. Yeah. Contending. Yeah. I don't agree with you. That's okay. Belong and straightforward. But at the same time, I'm not upset with you, you know, so mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to let God prove the case, you know, so I will try to do the right thing, be faithful, what I gave me to do. I'm being blunt with you, you know, you my disciples, could, could, I'm going to tell you what my heart and spirit felt or detected. The best policy is to make a stand, not against anybody, but to stand for God. Stand for what he trusts it, he wants us to do. Mm -hmm. And make sure that our life first transformed. Mm -hmm. Amen, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Before we think about changing others. Mm -hmm. Amen, hallelujah. We have to be formally changed. You know, something beautiful God is that he has a way to, to overcome others or draw others. Mm -hmm. By eventually reveal to others. Wow, this is not the same Emmanuel a year ago. Mm -hmm. This is not the same sure a year ago, you know? So, mm -hmm. is that making sense here? Yeah. But, when we're young, we think two months is, is a long time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm stuck, you know? So, mm -hmm. God, why not change? Why not get out of here? So, mm -hmm. yeah. he tried to work out 20 years of the rest of our life plan. In the Lord for generous to come, we're not willing to say, I'm going to lay some groundwork for that. You, know, so yeah. you pray, and then we move on, on the subject. So, yeah. Amen. I do hope I encourage you. So, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Never be live under fear. Whatever fear. And, and, and it's a fear of the Lord, that's fine, you know, so, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, and that's, uh, when you seek it. But any other fear, learn a way to disseminate, mm -hmm. to identify source. How it started, where it came from, who is really behind it? We are not working as flesh, blood, but who tried to produce a fear or oppression? Because God is not pressing person, He liberates us, am I so? Amen. You got a severe discipline. <laughs> we, 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 we'll cry, we, you know, we'll complain, but what? We're not oppressed by Him. He's not an oppressor. Amen. Hallelujah. He disciplines us, but He's not oppressed us. Mm -hmm. So He let us see the goodness after His discipline. Mm -hmm. You know, what it produces, you know, for us mm -hmm. and in us. Go ahead, pray for us. Thank you, Lord. I'm just so grateful, Lord, for how you see our hearts and you know us. Lord, we are willing to invest the time for the fruit that you have in your heart to, to see yielded. We do thank you, Lord, for your work in the hearts of the young ones, for drawing them to yourself, Lord. Mm -hmm. Long ago, you said to me, let the little children come to me. Mm -hmm. And those arms extended were my arms that I, to draw them to you, Lord, and to offer them to you, back to you, Lord. Mm -hmm. So we do thank you for the purity and the sweetness mm. and the, the 
faith in their hearts, Lord. Mm-hmm. We do trust you and thank you for your reassurance along the way to declare in us what we are not able to see. Mm-hmm. I do um, just praise you, Lord, for your power, for your intimate love, for your ability to work on every level and um, Mm. just for the establishment and perspective that you are lending for Mm. the expansion, the growth and the um, progress even through um, what doesn't seem clear, Lord. Mm. Just thank you for your nearness, for your Holy Spirit and Mm. just ask you to continue, Lord, that good work in me to be surrendered and and to see those places that need to be uncovered need to be offered up to you and repented from lord to be rewritten and recreated Mm. to be um, liberated lord Mm. and changed just Mm. thank you and i pray that you will just continue to help me to walk in fruitfulness lord Mm. and that I would take full advantage of this opportunity, mm. Lord, and not um, be paralyzed in fear or incapacitated in any way, Lord. But uh, I would just. I don't blame yourself. Go through certain things. I mean, that's natural, at least. So yeah, it was a, a process, sister. So, Amen. Yeah, you see, on every occasion, you rise up, you know, and you pull yourself more and more stabilized in the Lord, more and more sexual is a prudence, understanding and devotion to the Lord. And I don't I don't want to compliment you wrongly. I'm just saying I see that looking very substantial. That's why I'm seeing the early days uh, early talk I said I see substantial changing in you. So mm. yeah. Thank you Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Mm. Well Let's change the subject. So, okay. Yeah. You, you're, you're subject. Okay. Because last night, in, in, you know, I got talks. You know, yeah, so, yeah. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. Anything um, else? Let's mm. see. I think that was mostly what I wanted to share from last night. Mm. I think most encouragingly, you know, to to know that. Oh well, you want to change the subject, but yeah. just to finish that okay. that thought yeah, about yeah, being yeah. led by the spirit, you yeah. know, yeah. Um, because because it is I, I I want I want to I want to pray. <laughs> yeah. I want my prayer to be led by the spirit, and so yeah. to have someone who's gifted and practiced like Nicole and Kim. Mm. to affirm that and say mm. that was spirit that led. was definitely spirit and was so, just yeah. so yeah, yeah. i conquer yeah so amen yeah i saw norwegian i told you yeah you know city so i said hi god yeah, you just okay. spoke to my sister there so Thank i thought you. you know what he means i mean i, I just thought he know the i know the thing, so. principle but okay i yeah. um <laughs> i was actually thinking of um what's the the crocus flower has the stamen mm-hmm. are um a spice that yellow spice that um oh, wow. that lady uses for um when she makes paella oh, wow. it's a, i forgot what it's called but it's so far so far. yeah saffron is that right yes from a crocus from a cr- Chromacrocus. Is that right? I have no idea. Yeah, it's from? the middle stamen part. Oh, yeah. It's a very precious thing. Yes, yeah. and you can only harvest it at a yes. certain time. Yes, yes. We're expensive. Only need a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Mm. So I was thinking of that, you know. Mm. Saffron. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Mm. I've never tasted it before. Really? I don't think so. I mean, it's mm. it maybe in his food, but it's already already mixed. Yeah, in. already mixed. Yeah. You know, with other spices, I would like mm. to taste sort of saffron one of itself. I have so. to ask Lady. I'm sure she mm-hmm. has words. No, yeah, so, yeah. 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 Mm. Huh, that would be interesting. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. 
we kind of all deal with it, with the, our, you know, our inner man, very intricately, very intimately, so, yeah. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Anything else on your part? Mm. Hmm. Continue to be encouraged by Haley and her. Oh, do share, yeah. And her, just simplicity of faith and mm. love for the Lord. And mm. I was reminded when Nicole was sharing about Hannah having a breakthrough of a word that you had spoken over Hannah and Haley that they would delight together in the Lord and mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. and I thought, oh. Those will be the days, you know, when Hannah has this breakthrough in freedom. Yeah. Well, then she'll be able to relate with Haley like that because yeah. it's been so interesting to see Haley just maturing and strengthening in ways that Hannah is not quite. Yeah. There's no competition there. I think it's more a sense of responsibility in a sense. Something. Yeah. And in Hannah, yeah. you're saying? Oh, yeah. It's, yeah. Hannah's more like you. Yes. Yes. Oh, it's, definitely. Uh, she wants to keep everybody happy. Oh, definitely. Carry everything yes, together. Yes, absolutely. Uh, with the current season things going on, mm-hmm. it's not supposed to last forever. I want to tell you that. So, yeah. Sure. So, she take a lot of on herself in yeah. herself for mm-hmm. that. Yeah. And uh, she also want dialogue, but she that's obviously a subject nobody can fully dialogue with her. So, right. the disconnect. I think it's helpful for you is continue to to dialogue with to share, you know, ask and encourage her to have a dialogue with uh, with whoever she feels led to dialogue, have conversations, you know, so have exchanges. Yeah. Transparency. Don't bog in, bog down. Okay. Take her own opinion about things yeah. and don't let that process slowly rest on her shoulder and also you through those dialogue have purpose said we need to release Hannah from some false burdens, mm. false process. Mm. It's not her job right. to f- facilitate certain things. She mm-hmm. kind of think it in a certain way. So she mm. needs to thrive and be supported mm. in life. Let let her to be supported and thrive in life, you know. So yeah. yeah. So something that nature. Absolutely. And build some regular conversations, mm. you know. So yeah. Man. And let her also be a, a a leadership for the young ones, you know. So because mm-hmm. I think her how her care herself, her spirit influence siblings obviously Definitely. were mm-hmm. just like you, you know. So mm-hmm. very impactful. That's the leadership is supposed to happen, not Hannah's fault. It's, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, you know. Um, one thing I see that is called the spirit of heaviness. Mm. You know, spirit of heaviness lifted off. Then young lady going to hugely shining, shining forth. Thank you, Lord. And she must learn overcome spirit of heaviness mm. as we with her life before uh, well, in recent years. It's always on her life, almost mm. like so. Oh, wow. Yeah, mm. she's like. Thinking too much or reserve too much, you know. So mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, there's a weight on her. That's what I mean. So you know, so mm. Interesting. yeah, those are things my parents gave to her, or she pick on whatever. So or maybe culturally, uh, or relationally, she in in enter into, but she need to learn let it then go to to let God thrive her, you know. So Amen. yeah. I'm not saying the responsible, so. It's so um, interesting you brought that up because mm. we ha- there was this little moment, but mm. it was very revealing. Oh, okay. And uh, it was near the end of the worship night meeting uh, on Wednesday. Everyone yeah. had been eating. We were yeah. kind of milling around. Yeah. It was more yeah. relaxed. Yeah. And she came up to me, and she's being silly. You know, she's mm. talking silly oh, to yeah, me, yeah, and yeah, just yeah, yeah. being familiar and silly. Yeah, and yeah. Um, Justin walked by. Mm and heard her silly voice mm, mm. and she really mm. respects Justin sure, yes. you know yeah. he's her teacher and mm. she's very you know 
Mm-hmm. dedicated she wants to honor him but she was so mm. embarrassed mm. she got all red in the face uh, no. Hannah, uh, justin likes to be silly yeah, too yeah, yeah, you know yeah, it's yeah. okay yeah, yeah. so and he was very precious he tried yeah. to you know help uh, her feel better yeah, and, sure, and be sure. silly and, sure 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 yeah. but i was talking to her later and i want to continue to talk to her about it yeah, yeah. because i do think it's pretty revealing of no, we should be honoring, but we don't need to hold ourselves in a certain way with yeah. certain people. Yeah. Not be free to yes. be who we are. Yes, absolutely. And I yeah. think, yeah. you know, it it speaks to what you're just saying. Yes. I'm helpful for that. Mm. I, I mean, I'm grateful for that definition. That's very helpful. Because mm. I, I was thinking, like, what is that? Is that like a religious... So, like, she, she cares about my expectation mm-hmm. over her. Mm. And, and most likely it is actually you have been mm-hmm. cast, cast over her. Mm. Uh, she took on. Yeah. You know, so yeah. uh, that means bad stuff. Yeah. Most are good, but she might carry on in a very um, uh, holistic way. No, 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 it's not holistic way. Let's see that. Yeah, yeah. You know, she's been taking those things into her own light, mm. her own perception. Uh, you know, she don't have to. I mean, so you know, so be a leader doesn't mean you have to be this, do that, da, 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 you know. So, right. but we are there. Leadership changes through seasons of life, and right? I'm not sure about you. So I definitely took on definitely. leadership. Yeah. A different thing, you know. So yeah, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think those kind of conversations can be very helpful. Okay. So next thing is she's in a season the most. Formative, yeah. You know, from young, uh, being a child mm-hmm. to become a a young lady, you know. So those are very uh, a lot of things change. I don't necessarily understand it. I think you might understand, but that's one of the reason I think you should talk to Rachel about certain things mm. because those things often is uh, in Western society, all those things are carried out individual families. Mm-hmm. That's very unhelpful hmm. because the young ones need beyond the parents to go through that process. The whole struggle is about that hmm. Hmm. because they don't know their identity. If they know their identity, they don't necessarily all confine with the family circles. Hmm. That's how they grew up with. You know? So suddenly the society opened up. How to foresee that? Hmm. How to be helped with that? And she, you know, the society we have is a very lack of vertical shared responsibility. Mm-hmm. So, singular family, vertical is parents to children. Mm-hmm. The, and that's kind of an unhealthy vertical construct to begin with. It should be a community generation. Mm-hmm. Then you have a vertical generation to give you counsel, give you safe net. And then you let's see the, the, the shattered down, okay, the shattered down is, okay, so there, then find your friend, hopefully you found some good elders you like, who is a burden with that? Mm-hmm. Or we try to find a friend for that children, right? Is that gonna work? Mm-hmm. Children obviously, <laughs> that's, uh, my parents, me <laughs> with good friends, that's not gonna work, am I making sense here? So, mm-hmm. So that's, that, that's because the family structure has a bog down, give your children no choice. That's, that's what they got. If they don't go to school, go to school, obviously. Mm-hmm. In the past, that was a release, you know? So mm-hmm. is that making sense to you? Mm-hmm. Or some other groups? Now my point is that if, if we don't really build a pair relationship in a, in a generation, mm-hmm. you don't have a core family surrounding you. You can't have many. Yeah. You know, you know, so therefore the, those children never know what it means to have a safe net. Therefore the people they associate with is based on their own profits, their own likings. And our children that our parents that along said, Oh, you like this one, like that, maybe we can do some relation with women do that. As a so backward. Yeah. It should be. Parents have this broad network intimate relationships mm-hmm. and each one have a children grew up on the same generation they all know each other they mutually can help one another right so mm-hmm. and children recognize oh yeah you know so 
That's also my brother. It's also my friend. You know, so、mm. I like it not that guy. I don't like, but I that's part of my family. <laughs> you know, so you know, deal with it. So you know, so、yeah. you can't visit the children. I don't like that guy. Yeah. Okay. You know, so I don't want to harm that family anymore. Child, it's not your job <laughs> to decide how we deal relationships. You know, so.、Mm. But what a parent does, it's going to decide the family relation or adult relation based on what the children. Beautiful them now. That's backward. I'm a point, you know. So there's a lot of chance to be、mm-hmm. to learn in life. They have a greater spectrum of relationships to deal with it, you know. So life not supposed to be all perfect, all what we feel like. The thing don't feel like maybe most important for us to learn to handle it. That's、yeah. young. You handle it. You know, so、yeah. is he handle with a proper, proper attitude?、Mm-hmm. It it doesn't change people. People may never change, but you change you. You change the way how you handle things,、mm-hmm. and you can't say I know how to how to handle crisis and never encountered difficult personality, difficult situations. What equip you for you to handle crisis? You don't just you took off when crisis even on <laughs> on the wall. You don't panic, you know. Like a deer caught in the red light. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. That's often is because, sorry, too much protection of the child. The child, not really open up. So they have a huge barrier when they grow up. How to express their personality? How to open up for their future? Is that making sense to you? I'm not saying that we don't pr- provide the best. We can to segment them from all kind of bad influence on negative experiences,、mm-hmm. but it's not our job to、um, to to always shelter them、mm. from able to handle hardship, handle difficulty. We should encourage them to go through it, that go through it unharmed,、mm-hmm. go through it in large, go through become a wiser, keep more capable, more. More open mind, open heart person, you know. So yeah, and how that accomplished? I would suggest accomplished by vertical generational impartation. Okay, you know, I don't have a, <laughs> the blackboard or the whiteboard to give you a chart. Is that making sense here? In this, you see that vertical one family. Yeah. Then. You really let the young people decide how relationship is developed,、mm. and that's a, that's a huge burden for them.、Mm. All we try to release, they don't like this. So let's try to work out for them. That's also a huge burden for them.、Mm. Why? Because you understand that's a burden for parents. The first, the second, the children don't really want to decide that. In the heart, they know it's not right.、Mm. Is that making sense here? In this,、uh, yeah.、Mm. In this society, things so breaking down, all those things are lost. But the beauty of God is, you know, with a core family like ours, we're supposed to have this,、uh, this ability to assimilate, you know, assimilate. I'm sorry, you know, so mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and、uh, we should not use the old mode of doing family. When we grow up, our parents think or others think to continue condition how to do relationships because. It was never going to work.、Mm-hmm. It's a recipe for disaster.、Mm-hmm. Look at our generation. Look what Americans in general has done. But many the the other day was thinking, can I just drag on、yeah, the topic? Yeah, definitely. People said, you know, the American youth is because the power social media and internet age. That's part of it.、Mm-hmm. Oh, you know, just we. The freedom, the old, and not heal, whatever. This, this is psychology. Those are studies,、mm-hmm. whatever. See, all right. Those are play a huge role in the inference child.、Mm-hmm. But really, look at the big picture. Why do things even thrive? Who made them thrive? Who created social media? Who who says social media good way to express certain things? It's a culture the parents give to them,、yeah. allow them to indulge. It's not chosen to fall. Said I, you know, try to now try to. 
Oh, it's social media. This is about our young people. They will cover social media. They're going to change? I don't think it's changing. They're going to criticize best the same generation and criticize of media, you know? So, yeah. so the point is the real problem is a breaking down of integrity and wholesome family culture and community culture. Mm. Mm-hmm. Nobody wants to be a father or mother, mm-hmm. a responsible one, and no one feel young people as a blessing to our life anymore. Mm-hmm. It's a burden. Yeah. Where that generation came from? Baby born generation, right? Children is a is add on, you know. So it's sorry, I like the word extra. extra. I'm sorry. I mean, it's my, it's me, you know. Yeah. Me, me, me. So they don't think children is a blessing, and, and sacrifice children is a greatest honor. It's great joy in life anymore. You see my point? When you guys, your generation come around, try to recover those things. Yeah. It's like scratching from the room and try to get some material. But how to really rebuild this? Mm. We don't know. We don't have the blueprint. We still follow. Oh, that's not to do, you know, that's not good. Yeah. That's don't do social media. Yeah. But don't do social media as children are gonna do what? I don't know. Just don't do social media. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm saying that's yeah. a, social media is a part of self-expression, the one that found the identity. And you have a broken family. Then the other is a self-expression. You know, I said as a, young people want to self-affirm that they found the identity. Mm-hmm. Why did that become a problem? We have no idea. This is not young people want the identity. It's a broken down family. The parents has never given the identity to the children. Hmm. You feel shame to be your father the daughter, your mother the son. That's really it. Hmm. So animosity or despising the old generation because the old generation is not respectful. Hmm. It's not a model for them done. They just want to run away from it. Hmm. So then we give in children education to social Programming, I mean, sorry, education, whatever. Yeah. We really never interested in investing the life to begin with. We thought, if only I work hard, provide, go to the best school, they surely going to appreciate us. We, we're going to give them a lot of gifts on Christmas. We're going to make a great cake, cake you know, some. I mean, that's sure going to learn their fashion. And that's not who we are to them. Mm. It means, therefore, the Relation was a never heart to heart. So to, I mean, you know, so yeah. it was always the surface level. Mm. So when, especially young people, so full of suppression, they don't want to play those games. They were saying, no, we're not interested to continue what you think we should do. Yeah. So, you know, so I, I freak it out to the, <laughs> the old parents, whatever. So, yeah. the, um, the problem is that maybe you lost the power and the culture to be a good parent. Mm. You don't want to mean to hold the family together and to interest in part identity. Mm. You let the world in part identity. Yeah. Let them choose their own identity. You, you're never confident in yourself, said, my son, look at me. You know, I'm following God, I'm, I'm doing the right thing. Yeah. You this see my point? Way. Yeah, mm-hmm. so, I mean, talk about Godly ones, excellent ones, and right. So yeah, mm. so that restoration take a long healing. Mm. The, the confidence of father, mother had to be regained, mm. and we try to use every tool, every means, try to make that void. Mm. It's this elephant in the room, in a sense. You don't want to talk about it, mm. but is really social media the problem? Mm. In the can I brag a little bit? You know, so I talk to the young people after one or two conversation. I don't, I don't see them change. If you, especially when you come hard on them, yeah. I see some serious change. You know, so certain ones that don't have the time to invest. You know, in certain ways. Mm. But if I invest in one two years, the the young life seem to have some serious recourse. Am right? So, okay. so I don't involve all the time in their life. You know, so yeah. Yeah. only one lesson, mm. one hour or two hours, so that's all. Mm. 
I'm saying that, you know, why? Because they see another option. They see something they long for, the right, give them identity, give them, give them a, a reference point for the thing we build together. It's making sense to them. We can cling to them. And God's spirit and God's work in the midst continue to furnish that how to build it up. Mm. And, and that's how it works. Mm. It's not me doing it, but uh, somehow something transpired, and I so I'm a herald for something. Yeah. That thing begin end upon. It. So mm. you guys do a tremendous job. The problem is that we'll continue to bring our mm. social programming, educational method, whatever that is good if we are let people know this is a tool, okay? <laughs> and also mm-hmm. it's it's a tool to get something through but this is not the end you know don't 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 use this to measure your what's really taking your heart what really happening to your relations and pay attention to relation pay attention to your heart regarding doing your heart and then continue driving that message mm. once that message get through sister there's not stuff for young people yeah. thank you Lord. as well learn themselves they know what to do so you know so yeah. mm. When you are you are young, what really trouble us? Mm. Trouble our relationship. We don't have a goal. We don't know who we are in life. Mm-hmm. So we try to search out. Yes, there is a phone. Yes, but really the void is who am I? What yeah. what what am I doing here with life? Yeah. Where's my future? You know. So yeah. Yeah. What I'm doing? What I'm doing? I want, I want to have an answer to those things. You know. So mm. as somebody come along. Mm. Said, so, yeah, let me help. Mm. Not doctoring you, but let let me help to discover that. Yeah. By the way, God will help you. And mm. they found that. Think about the compound. Mm. Compound the wrong word. Maybe yeah, it is compounded. Not compounded. Mm-hmm. Expenditure. Mm. Mm. This this explosive mm. thing. When that happened, that young heart, man, mm. is not stoppable. Thinking about it, that's is not stoppable. Mm. Because suddenly God told me what, yeah. and God told me what He wanted to do with my life. <gasps> yeah, I want you to pray for your young ones and for yourself as well. Yeah. You know, let me let me revalue things, okay? Yeah. Whatever you're going through. Mm-hmm. The other day I talked to somebody said, I think whatever happened in our life. God knows and wants to do one thing in us, mm. so that we can become like the Son. Mm. If only we really look at everything happening in our life, then the central thing, the real purpose, is that we can become like the Son. Okay. And not treat it as a, you know, a bumper sticker, am I? <laughs> so that's a right. really, really get through everything align with that understanding mm. well god will take care of things Amen. we can never take care of because that's the revelation you always want to have mm. and he is interested to say here's what i'm doing your life so that i can be comfortable to my son better okay. a better knowledge of me. this is why i'm uh, letting that happen to you this is why i look at my life everything happened to me mm. i know for the reason mm. hallelujah Thank you, Jesus. Go ahead. Thank you, Father. Sincerely, thank you for your intentional work in our lives. I do want to be moldable in your hands, Lord, to know more and more what it is to be your son, to know you, to hear from you, and to walk with you. I do lift up our young lives before us, Lord. Mm. I thank you for the work of restoration and healing and um, recovery that you're doing Mm. from generations past. And I just pray that you would continue, Mm. Lord, to show us the way to help them to be restored to you, Lord, to your ways to learn from them as we grow with them and walk with them and watch what you can do with lives that are 
yielded to you that are given to you, Lord. I believe they were given by you to be to be given to you. So I just uh, thank you that your grace is is all sufficient, Lord. Mm. That your power and strength will be evidently shown as we admit our weakness and our need for you, Lord, as we are walking with clear view of our inadequacy to do what needs to be done, to be um, to be all that needs to be, Lord, because it's you that will be at work. And uh, we just invite that. We ask for it, Lord. I ask to recognize it when you show up, Lord, that you will just continue to lead us in that intuitive way, Lord, that we... Um, belong to you and can't help lord but to walk in your flow that the young ones would be continually drawn to you lord it will i'm just thinking upon the hand now sorry i just want to encourage you thank you lord the lord is saying yes we should a little bit apologize to the children for inconvenience in life but never feel sorry for them mm. or feel sorry for yourself mm. amen how do that's that's what they want to do. Mm. And, and, you know, also, God is saying, I will build in that young lady's strength in the tender age. Thank you, Lord. That you will never understand. Mm. You know, we look at things, we're short term. Mm-hmm. How can I be time? How can time? Mm. But God is building that young lady in the strength. Mm through all these hardships and uh, difficulty, even confusions, mm. that will be so important for her future life. Thank you, Lord. She is able to handle hardships, come, you know, difficulties, so in wisdom we can never imagine. Hallelujah. Thank you. I was reminded your story, your mom's story, you know, how her strength passed on to you. Yeah. In hard mm-hmm. time, you know, I remember you told me. Yeah. There were times she was struggling as a young mom. Yeah. She was playing music. You were there, young young girls yep. coming around, and then taught you tremendously how to handle hardships uh, in the love of God. Absolutely. Hallelujah. And that become an ever example for you. Mm. You know. So yeah. Amen. Be great, sister. Mm. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. You will do that, and you're doing that. Mm. I'm not partial personality here i'm saying that that's part of your reality part of what's going on so thank you lord mm. just bless you lord praise your name just praise you and thank you trust you lord and declare that your ways are good you are a good father. Pray that you would lead me as I walk with Hannah to um, to be open and, and faithful to you, Lord, with my expression of my heart. At the same time, not to get in the way of your work, Lord. To let you do what you'll do in the unseen place. To allow her room to to find her self-expression, Lord, to find her individuality and um, to connect her in the right ways, Lord, to others and to you. Just ask for your help and guidance, Lord. Mm. Amen. Amen. Listen. Well, good to have you, sister. Hallelujah.